Hello, here we are for lunch. And boy, do we have some exciting news <laughs> from you. All right, honey. Okay, uh, right now, what I'm doing is, we're here at the church, and I'm going on my Facebook so that I can share for a watch party to get people to watch this. And you can do the same thing. You can also, for donations, we want to thank you for your donations that you have been giving to the church. You can go to My Father's House, Las Vegas, Facebook. There's a bar that comes across and it says Shop Now. Then what you do is you press that and you go straight to the donations and it gives you all the instructions of what to do. Or you can go to mfhlv.com. That's mfhlv.com. And you can press and click Give Online, and it will give you the instructions of what to do also. So I want to encourage you to invite people to the watch party so that they could see this important message today. Uh, we do have some exciting news, though. <laughs> Hot off the press. <laughs> Breaking news. The president made an announcement today. He said that all houses of worship are deemed essential, that they can open up now. That's what he said. And he said if any governor fights that, he will override the governor. So we are going to be opening up this Sunday. Woo-woo! <laughs> at a, and all the details will be on the web page at mfhlv.com and also on Facebook at My Father's House, Las Vegas Facebook. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock, you could, after 12 o'clock, you can go In on. In the afternoon. Yes, tomorrow. And you can look and see what all the details are for coming to church this Sunday. But he did say we still have to do some of the essential things like sitting six feet apart. Yeah, like the restaurants, 50% yes. capacity, mm -hmm. sitting six uh, feet apart, yes. uh, you know, in, uh, uh, and so forth. But you'll get all those details Yes. Uh, tomorrow. And make sure you go there for the details because we do not want to, uh, you know, we want to uh, obey what, uh, what has been dictated, you know, and so forth. We do not want anybody to come and have a reproach, you know, we don't want to put a reproach upon the name of Jesus or anything or give any ammunition to anybody to talk bad about, uh, about the gospel and about the church. Yes. So get all the details. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Yes. Praise All right. God. Do you have anything else? No. No, I'm just excited. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. We're over here getting the church um, ready, you know, a, uh, a crew of 10. And uh, all of a sudden, we got the news. Yeah. Uh, we were trying to get it ready for, you know, not this weekend, the weekend after. And guess what? we got to do it in a hurry. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to talk to you today, and this is so, I mean, it fits the occasion perfectly, and it's this, what you're desiring is in the whirlwind. The blessing, what you're desiring, the desire of your heart, is in the whirlwind. If you're looking for something, you better go to the right place. If I'm fishing, I better not go to the middle of the Sahara Desert. You get it? But our blessings, we miss out on so many of them because we don't know where to look. Okay? Here we go. Psalms 31, verse 20. Nahum 1 3 in 2 Kings 2 11. Mm -hmm. So that's Psalms 31 verse, excuse me, Psalms chapter 31 verse 20. Nahum 1 3 
in 2 Kings 2, 11. After everything that's been going on all over the world, God's people need to know this secret. This secret. Do you know where Job, where his double blessing came? It was in the middle of the storm. Because at the end, the Lord blessed him with more than what he had before. Amen? Amen. So do you want to just waste everything you've gone through no. through this pandemic thing? Or do you want to find the treasure that God has had here on earth for you? Here we go. Psalms 31.20 Thou shalt hide him in the secret of thy presence. You are hid in the presence of God. Your hiding place, your invisible shield, is in the presence of God. We've had this time to be with God. Yes. To be with our families. Yes. To be in His presence. And right now you are in the presence of God. And you're hid right now. You're protected. While you're in the storm. But in the storm. Is where your blessing is. Thou shalt hide them. In the secret of thy presence. From the pride of man. From the arrogant. Right now. We are being protected. By his presence. From the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strive of the tongue. No matter what anybody says, no matter what persecution comes or has come, guess what? Thank God that the president has lifted this. <laughs> Why? Because restaurants were allowed to be open. And thank God they need to be open at 50% capacity. But not the church. Well, it's more, it's more dangerous to be serving food. And here in Las Vegas, it's no problem finding a restaurant that holds 200 people. Half capacity is 100 people. But our blessing has been through all of this. We are stronger now. You are stronger. Hallelujah. It's a new day. A wonderful new day. Thou shalt keep them in the secret of thy pavilion from the strive of the tongue. The Bible says this, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment you will condemn. That is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And we condemn every word to the ground, every curse that's been directed toward us to the ground in the name of Jesus. Next verse, Nehem 1.3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. It will not at all equip the wicked. He will not equip evil to destroy you. No matter how bad the storm is or has been. He will not equip them. They won't have the right tools circumstances won't be able to. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind. <laughs> and in the storm. Yep, he did. Thank you. In the clouds of the dust of his feet. He has his way in the whirlwind and in your storm. Yes. 
See, don't look at it like, well, I've made it through, or, oh yeah, God kept me, and He has. But it's deeper than that. Listen to this. The three Hebrew children, where did they find their blessing? In the fire. Mm -hmm. They were in His presence. They weren't stepping into the presence of a fire. They were stepping into the presence of God. And that's why the fire didn't have authority over them. Their blessing. Can you imagine being, in a, being right there with Jesus? And the king said, didn't we cast three in? But I see four. And the fourth is the Son of God. That's who you're with right now. You cannot be destroyed or consumed. Give you another example. Joseph found his blessing. He governed, ended up governing Egypt. How? He was sent there as a slave. His blessing was in the fire. His fire's name was, you're a slave and we sold you in Egypt. And even though he was put in the dungeons of Egypt, guess what? That's where his blessing was. Yes, it was. Because the jailer said, I'm putting you in charge of the prison. When he was sold to Potiphar, Potiphar said, you're in charge of my business. Right when it looked, and all those three storms, Potiphar, his brothers doing what they did to him, Potiphar, and being in the prison in Egypt, those three were three fires, and guess what? The last fire brought him to his greatness. Could this be your last fire? For you to enter into your ultimate greatness? It could be. Yes. It could be mine. Hallelujah. How about Moses? They wanted all the male children killed. And in the middle of that fire, of baby Moses was supposed to be executed. In the middle of that fire, the king of Egypt himself is the one that provided for his food, his clothing, and being taken care of in his education. In the middle of his fire, his fire's name was Egypt. And he was supposed to be exterminated. Hallelujah. The last verse. 2 Kings 2.11 And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and departed them both asunder and Elisha, Elisha went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Do you know what this storm, this whirlwind is going to do? You know what this hurricane is going to do? It's going to launch you into heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Like the New Testament says, that we are seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. This is going to cost you to inherit. This is the whirlwind that is going to take you to your position in God. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you four little questions. And here they are, my brother and my sister. You've got to ask yourself questions. Sometimes we ask other people too many questions. And we have the answer. It's been right in front of our face. It's been God's word. Listen to this. Have you been looking in the right place for what? you desire. Hey, I think I'll look over here. <laughs> yep. I thought it was going to come from Wall Street, but that's gone <laughs> to hell in a handbasket. Not God. No. His presence has never gone to hell in a handbasket. No. It went to hell and conquered death, hell in the grave. Yes. Did you get that? Could it be that you should have been looking right there in the fire. Instead of running. Not even 
look in the right place. Number two, after this message, do you know where to look now? Yes or no? He's been there. It's been impossible. So you could trust in him and see him in the impossible become the possible. He is the possible in the impossible. Number three, have you found him right now in the middle of your whirlwind? Yes, I have. <laughs> if you have, you've been taken up to heaven where all the promises of God are yea and amen. And the last one, now stop and worship him. We worship you, dear Jesus. Thank you. We worship you. Yes. Right here in the <clears throat> middle of this fire. Yes. Right here in this whirlwind. Yes. In the fire, your presence is here. Yes. And everyone will know that you were in this fire with yes. us. Yes. And in the whirlwind, yes. we'll be cut up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. To the power of your throne. Yes. Hallelujah. To yes. dominate and to receive the fullness yes. of your presence. Yes. yes. I don't care. You might be the least of the least. Mm -hmm. You might be the wacko. You might be the freak. Thank you. But God loves you. And right now in Jesus name. You celebrate this weekend. Yes. Hallelujah. You look at your circumstances and you do like Jesus. You know what Jesus did? He would spit on people's problems. There was a man that was blind. What did Jesus do? He spit in his eye. And the guy received his sight. Spit on your problems and say, in Jesus' name, I see the purpose of God. I see his glory. And I see the victory and the greatness of my God. God bless you, and may the Holy Spirit haunt you with His peace. You want more material? You want to know about us opening, you know, services this coming Sunday? Yes. Go to mfhlv.com. mfhlv.com. And also Facebook? Also go to My Father's House, Las Vegas, Facebook, and you can see all the information on there on all the procedures that we will be doing, and you can look at that tomorrow at 12 noon. Get ready no. to receive God's greatness. Mwah. We love God, and we God love you. God bless you.